kind of punctuate your weekend. Uh, I'd like to start off with an introduction of our board members. I'm Matt Garnett. Uh, this is Pat Fernetton, Steve Bolin, Chris Ryder. This is an advisory board member, uh, Dave Wedding, that I'm sure most of you know. Sally's our newest uh, member. She just came on board this year. We're really excited to have her. She's, uh, she's worked with us for several years now. And she's been a tremendous resource. Uh, we have two fellows who couldn't make it here today, uh, Dave Harmon, or Dave Weiss and Darren Harmon. Uh, they had other obligations today. So uh, I'd like to thank some of our sponsors. We have a lot of sponsors that help uh, make this event possible. And uh, without them, we really couldn't have the success that we've experienced in the past few years. Three in particular, uh, Town Square Media, uh, has helped us out in a big way. Uh, Henderson Chevy, uh, who I believe, where is, there he is back there, have uh, uh, really uh, helped us out with uh, donations and stuff this year. Uh, working distributors, Budweiser, they've they've been a, a great asset to us as we put this thing on every year. Again, like I said, this is the sixth year for this event. We started off a uh, really small venue. It was uh, an idea that Mike Doran and Pat Fournette and a few other guys had. Uh, to do a charity boxing match to start a home for kids with Crater Willie, which is something that uh, Pat's daughter, Mickey, suffers from. And we started off in the Coliseum building, and we thought, well, this will just be like a small thing that we'll make a few bucks on. And then the night of the fights, there were people standing in a line outside. The entire facility was packed. We couldn't fit another person in the door. So it's like, wow, this is going to be kind of a, a neat thing. So then the very next year, it, it tripled in size, and then it grew again, and it grew again. And here we are, we're six years deep into this thing, and we've raised nearly half a million dollars for kids with disabilities across the world. Uh, basically, how our structure works is the monies that we raise, uh, we, we, we have very hardly any operating costs at all. We, split, we like to split, split at $50, or 50% goes to the building of the Prater Willie home, and the other 50% we like to try to disperse as efficiently as we can amongst local charities and individuals who have uh, children with disabilities. And so, though our dollar amounts might not be uh, huge like we, like we would like, uh, we try to touch as many families as we possibly can, and we think we're doing that. Um, let's see, I think that's about all I would like to say. I think we're going to go ahead and do some of the uh, uh, recipients this year. Oh, do we want to do the ring presentations? We have a couple of guys here today uh, who have fought for five years now, and uh, of course, it's for the, they're both firemen. Uh, they, they both have uh, impeccable records. Uh, Russ, are you, are you, have you been beaten yet? Yeah, by that guy. Oh, <laughs> but they have phenomenal records. Uh, so we get two guys we want to recognize for their five-year fights. Uh, Russ. Fish hook word. <laughs> and then our, our best shameless self promoter, Levi Showtime Tang. said uh, when we started this organization six years ago I heard about it and I asked if I could volunteer I think it was going to be a very low key event at the Coliseum and I think Paul Kirby and I our assignment was the front door and we get there not knowing what's going to happen but it was kind of like a mob at a concert scene trying to get in and we end up after we let the people with paid admissions come in we were having people basically barter anything they could to get in to see these fights. And I knew right away that we had one heck of a thing going. And these gentlemen behind me, after we went to a couple meetings, I knew this is the deal. I want to be a part of this. And I started volunteering. And I certainly didn't want to get my head beat in. So I said, I'll help you raise money. And I'm pretty good about getting out and raising money. So while the boxers are 
getting their heads beaten in. We're beating our heads trying to raise money for the organization. So it works out pretty well, and, I, and I'm very proud to be a part of it. And I think it's a very good way to bring the firefighters, EMS, the sheriff's office, and the EPD together for a good cause. And I think it's, it's benefited the community, and it's also kept good spirits between all the agencies. And I, I think we have very good, very proud police officers, sheriff's deputies, EMS, and firefighters in Evansville. I think we're very blessed for that and the working relationships that we've built, and this is part of what we do. So I'm very proud of that. So. Uh, the first check I want to uh, give out is to a friend of mine, Chris Keeper from Ivy Tech, for $500. <laughs> and we have $1,000 for Forest Hills. <laughs> and Kirsten Lisa Master in Inglehart, we have $2,000. Burnworth from Youth Resources, we have a check for $2,000. Art Crisis Center, $2,000. And Big Brothers and Big Sisters, we have $2,000. I'll take you'll take it. <laughs> And our friends over here, Boys and Girls Club, we have $2,000. Easter Seals, we have a check for $2,000. Evansville Art, $2,500. Our friends over here, the Heidi Shriners, so we have $3,000. Daycare, we gave $3,500 to. I don't believe they're in attendance today. And the Dream Center, we got $5,000. And Mend it, Little Hearts, we have a check for $5,000. come to one of these. They're, they're great events, great for the community, and they really are a lot of fun. Our, our marquee event is, of course, our boxing match. This is the gym that we train in uh, throughout the year. Uh, some guys train throughout the year, others a couple months, and they're good to go. Uh, so anyway, we, we, we do a hockey uh, match that we just started. It's going to be an annual event. Um, we do the children's toy drive. Uh, we come out to the Eastside Walmart. We do that three days in December to uh, try to get as many toys inside the semi as we can to uh, give to kids who are going to be spending the holidays in the hospital, local hospitals. Uh, that's a great event. Uh, we do a lot of stuff throughout the year to try, to try to stay relevant, try to stay active in the community. But we can't do it without you know, people coming out and enjoying these events. So if you haven't been to uh, you know, the, the Ford Center to see one of our uh, Guns and Hoses matches, uh, make every effort you can to, to come to one of those. We, we'd like to sell it out uh, in 2014, and we can't do it without the support of the community. So. I'm good. All right. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.